Bachelorette season 20 episode 6 week 6. What's up y'all? It is Jay Shanice back with another video back with another review. Don't even start. Don't even start girl. I know I missed week 4 and 5 but I did watch the episodes. I fell asleep on one but girl I did watch it. Let's get into week 6. Y'all already know what happened 4 and 5 so I ain't even gonna talk about it baby. I ain't even gonna talk about it but I got a complaint with the Bachelorette Nation and Bachelor Nation why can y'all not keep a secret? Why is it always coming out with who they already chose? Y'all love to ruin a show, don't y'all? Y'all love to ruin a show, don't you? I'm so sick of y'all. Let's get into these hometown dates. Now, I'm going to tell you straight up. I wasn't really a fan of Aaron B. After he was snitching and kind of acting like her daddy, her brother, her family. I didn't really like that. And I think Charity didn't like that. And I think that's what threw their chemistry and their connection off. But Charity doesn't want to say that because this whole time she's like, I'm hoping we can get back to the first date, blah, blah, blah. But I think after his drama with Brayden and all that, I think it just threw Charity off. It rubbed her the wrong way. She just wasn't into it. That's what I literally think about what happened with Charity and Aaron B's connection now his family was cute his daddy was especially cute okay not the sister-in-law knowing the country singer that i didn't know okay i got on her instagram and said oh you are somebody you got a million followers girl i did not know you but the sister-in-law knew who she was his family was really cute mama threw down in the kitchen honey i said baby that's where i need to be i need to be at the mama's house eating catfish and crawfish and uh frog legs and shit okay they must be from new orleans or something they say he has not brought a girl home in 10 years. His parents do not play that. Don't bring bringing no girlfriends around here. You better bring your fiance or, or wife, okay? That's just period, okay? His mama asked her, like, if my son proposed to you, would you say yes? And she said no. And I instantly was like, oh, she don't want to be with Aaron B. <laughs> she don't want to be. I thought Aaron B was going to go home last week because I was trying to get rid of him last week. But she kept him for hometowns. She kept him for hometowns. Um, let's see. His dad is cool. They had a football date. They did a little football date, Letterman jackets. It was really cute. She's like, it's like Friday Night Lights. And he played that girl's Lauren or whatever, her country song. She's like, oh my God, this is a song we dance to. And I was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know her laugh. And I was like, girl, whatever. He picked her up. He said, I'm falling for you. And she was like, oh, really? <laughs> You're so cute. You're so cute. And I'm like, Aaron B, it ain't there. She was crying hella hard. I said, girl, is you crying because you ain't going to choose him? Are you crying because you ain't going to choose him? She was crying hella hard. I was like, girl, why are you crying so hard? And maybe she was crying because she knew the connection wasn't there. It hadn't been there since he was tattletelling on Brayden. That's all I'm saying. Aaron B did not have a chance after he tried to uh, be her daddy. Don't no girl want to stay daddy. And that's just period. Don't try to tell me what I need to do, who I need to date. Let me figure it out myself. Let me go around and find out, okay? On to the next. Joey. Let me tell you. Joey's uncle, Joe. Joe is not sold on this. He ain't a fan. And let me tell you something about Joey. I just didn't like that he said he ain't never dated no black woman. And I was just like, mm, I don't like that. I just am not a fan of that. Like, do you like black women or will this be a fetish thing? Because you know what? As a black woman, I've dated a few white boys that I think it was kind of a fetish thing. And I was like, I have to watch out for that. Like, is do you, are you attracted to us or are you wanting to fuck us? See, that's a whole different, that's, you know what? We'll talk about that another day, but for real, y'all black girls watch out for that. And you know what? My white girls watch out for that. And all my other racist girls watch out for that. Because sometimes you can be a fetish. You can be a fetish to your own race of man. <laughs> you don't want to go there. But anyways, his uncle wasn't sold. His uncle said he's a people pleaser. And I was like, ooh, is he a people pleaser? Is he just trying to win? Because you got to think, he is a tennis player and competitive. So is he trying to win the game? Period. Is Joey trying to win? But she kept saying, I want to tell Joey I'm falling in love with him. I want to tell Joey I'm falling in love with him. Let me tell you, I didn't like Joey's date. You just took her to the uh, play tennis. You know you got a membership there. You didn't put no thought into y'all date. Tennis, Joey. Like, you could have did anything else but tennis. I know you like tennis, but it was like nothing special about it. You know what I'm saying? 
His sister Carly said she liked her. The mama was cool. The mama was crying. I was just like, girl, what are you crying for? Like, what are you crying for? Uh, let me see. And then, okay, Charity said, did she say she never dated a man outside her race? Or did she say she never went to one's house? That's why I was getting on that fetish part. Because I'm like, girl, you definitely grow by. That energy you give us, baby, stop it. You definitely have. You might not went to his house because you are a fetish, but don't, don't play like that. Don't do that. Don't do that. And she was crying when she said goodbye and all that. She never even told him that she was falling for him. You know, he already told her he was falling for her. But I think Uncle Joe might have a point. Uncle Joe know him better. It seemed like Uncle Joe know him better than his own daddy know him. Or was that his stepdaddy or was that was his daddy? Because I'm just like, who is Uncle Joe? Uncle Joe is involved. I had to make sure Uncle Joe was married. Because I said, Uncle Joe might be one of them bachelors forever. You don't want your man hanging out with his bachelor forever, Uncle. But Uncle Joe was married. Mm-hmm. But I trust Uncle Joe. Uncle Joe said he called bullshit, basically. He, without saying it, he said he called bullshit. Joey is a tennis player. He's just in a competitive mode. He wants to win the goddamn race. He wants to win the tennis match, okay? Shoot. She almost hit him with a tennis ball. I said, girl, watch out. Ooh, she, I'm all flirty and giddy when I'm with him. <laughs> I was like, ooh. On to the next, Xavier. Let me tell you something about Xavier. She is sexually attracted to Xavier. I know Xavier might look like one of her exes or whatever. She wants to jump Xavier's bones. <laughs> I know y'all be like, Jay, stop it. She do. She want to jump his bones, baby. And so do I. <laughs> How old is he? Oh, about 10 years younger than me. That's all right. I can show him what it's made for. They went on a cute date to the yarn store and they, um, he was showing her how to knit. They was in a knitting class. They was kissing. They was flirting. I said, see, this is what I'm talking about. Girl, he had knitted you that little scarf or whatever he had knitted you. It was cute. His family was super cute. I love, like I say, his family was my second favorite because you already know who was my favorite, them Nigerians, because you know I love me an, an African man. Anyways, li listen, listen, listen. They said the people at the knitting class were like, he's so patient with you. You want a patient man. You want a kind man. Okay, period. Ain't that what the Bible say? That's what people say. I ain't read the Bible since I ain't been in my mama's house, child. But patient and kind, that's what you want, honey. His family, yeah, his family was super cute. His sister, Chelsea, says she loves her. I said, period. And he is falling in love with her. She didn't even want to leave Xavier. She did not want to leave Xavier, honey. Did you see her? She didn't want to leave that man. She wasn't trying to go back on the plane or go next to the next man's house. She wanted to stay with Xavier, honey. She said they enjoy each other's company. And she said he could be her husband. I said, oh, child. Okay. And his family did tell her, it's just that Xavier, you know, it's so fast. That's his only problem. Like everything's moving so fast, so fast, so fast. And I'm like, that's true. Like, you got to get engaged, all this stuff in a matter of weeks. So you could, if it was one of us, we'd be like, this is too fast. I don't know you like that. Wait a minute. I do not know you like that, okay? But I like Xavier. And I'm telling you, she is a very, I think out of all the men that are left, right? The four. <clears throat> she is very attracted to Xavier. Very. She likes the way that man looks. She likes him. I'm telling you now, she wants to jump his bones. Oh, it's just because he reminded her of one of her exes. But that's why you got to go to therapy and heal, honey. Let go of that past and that trauma because Xavier is not Dante. I'm just made up a name. I don't even know that's his name. Okay. Xavier is not Dante from back in the day, a few years ago. Okay. Baby, I like me some Xavier. I really, really do. I'm rooting for him. But like I said, Bachelorette can never keep no goddamn secret. Neither can Bachelor Nation. I don't even know why y'all do this. Like, for what? For why? I'm so fucking pissed. Okay. Dalton. Is that how you say his name? I cannot say this man's name. Dalton? Dalton? 
we going to say it like that. His grandma was so cute. At first, he had told um, Chelsea that his parents weren't going to be there because they were in Nigeria. And I was like, okay, you know, they do go to Nigeria for like a month or two. They stay for a while because the tickets are so expensive. So I could believe that. And he had the rest of his family. Grandma was in the kitchen throwing down. Chelsea said her best friend is Nigerian. Hopefully, we get to see her because I didn't watch last season, okay, because I didn't like no damn Zach. So I don't know nothing about Chelsea and her homegirls. But they were so cute. His fam his mom and dad ended up surprising him and Chelsea. And they were there. The mama said she adopted Chelsea already. Okay. I, the family was so cute, girl. They were so cute. The dad's like, my son is ready. His brother was telling her, like, my brother is one of them men that is faithful. He ain't going to look at another woman. He ain't going to look at, even if it's Rihanna, he ain't going to look. Okay. Girl, that's what you want in your life, a faithful man, a good man that comes from a good family. And you know what? A side note, I have to say this. I love seeing all the mamas and daddies because, you know, the narratives say that we ain't got our mama and daddy. Lies, okay? I love seeing that, okay? His mother is scared that he might get hurt in this experience, and his mama do not want that. But his mama loved her some Chelsea, baby. She loved her some Chelsea, okay? Then, let me tell you about they date, okay? This was the best date out of the four to me. He got an old school car, rented an old school car. They went to the drive-in theater. And they had, like, movies of when they were growing up and pictures and stuff and what they like the stuff they did now together. And I thought, this is so sweet, so thoughtful. He had the best day. She even cried, like, is there more? I'm like, who wouldn't love that? Oh, my God. He had the best one, Xavier next, then Aaron B and Joey that put in no effort, okay? I'm telling you, I loved his date. I love him. Okay, I just am rooting for this man. I really love him. Okay, I, I'm a fan of this man. Okay, so then Jesse, the guys come so she can, you know, give out the three roses. Jesse talking about how you gonna feel if you don't get a rose. Hell, devastated. What would I feel? I'm gonna be happy that she ain't give me no rose. Like, no, I'm going to be devastated, crying, rolling all on the floor, kicking the plane, you know, just hitting the ground and acting a fool, trying to take somebody else's rose off of them. Like, no, 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 no. This is my rose. I deserve this, okay? And ended up, she didn't choose Aaron B. And he, you know what? He handled it like a gentleman. He's like, I was going to marry her. I thank God for you. And she's like, ugh. man I love home. I was like, you know you don't love no damn Aaron B. Stop it. You cut it out. You ain't love Aaron B since him and Brayden was getting into it. Stop it. Okay? So we got our top three. Joey, Dalton, Dayton, Dalton, Dalton, and Xavier. We got our top three. Okay? I don't know who going home. I almost think that's Xavier going home because he done got cold feet and he might not can propose. That's what I'm thinking because, you know, he kind of been like shaky a little bit. I think if they weren't on the show and the cameras and stuff, I think they would be good. But I feel like that's who got in that car and went home. And then who surprised her? Is it her friends? They're trying to make it seem like it's a man. But I'm like, is it her friends? Who is it? So I would like to see, or her brother. I don't know. They're trying to make it seem like it's a man. Like, is it Aaron B? Is it Brayden? Who is it? But I don't know. It could be friends, family, or something like that. You know, as long as it ain't Gabby and Rachel, I'm good with that too, honey. Okay. But that was it with the episode. That was it, honey. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm sorry I haven't been posting about Bachelorette. You guys, I've been doing Love Islands. If you know me, you know Love Islands takes a lot of my time. And I am so sorry about that. But I'm figuring out a balance about this. And y'all seen the Golden Bachelor? I said, ooh, I hope it's some old hoes tripping on there. I don't want nobody 20, 30. Uh-uh, baby. I'm so ready for this. Okay, I am ready for this. And when Bachelor in Paradise coming on? period okay share this with everybody y'all i am almost, almost at 10,000 subscribers so if you're not subscribed please subscribe i am trying to get to that 10,000 mark in the next few days i love you 
and I will see y'all in the next Bachelorette video if you don't watch Love Islands. And I apologize for not doing the last two weeks. I am so sorry. That is messed up because some of you guys subscribe to me for The Bachelorette. And that is my fault because I get overwhelmed with Love Islands. See you later. See you next time. Bye. Love you.